we've got like two sides to our job. We've got all the ceremonial stuff, like the, all the palaces, Buckingham Palace, St James's Palace. But then we've got the flip side, like the rolling Afghanistan, and obviously all the training we do out in Falkland. Oh, I've got mates in the uh, Royal Marines, and they're not be, they won't be part of this. Some of them are going to Libya, so basically this is what, like I said before, this is what we do, and we're good at it. Most people attending the wedding in whatever capacity as fans wave, waving flags or, or as guests will be hoping for terrifically warm weather. Is it a little different for you guys having to wear all yeah, I'm, this I'm outfit? Yeah, I'm hoping for overcast and cloud and a nice breeze. <laughs> I think we're all hoping for a bit of nice overcast. Like, just stood here at the moment with you guys. We are absolutely boiling in this. And, <laughs> and it's only fun. about 23 degrees. Yeah, yeah but then we're, if, if we're standing, for example, on Buckingham Palace on got us dag and guard uh, you're sweating a lot for example um, but can you show me what it's like when you put the hats on how do you put them on is it is it yes put them on for us and show us what's involved in putting them on is that even hotter when you're wearing those now it's quite cold now it's quite cool give um, it five minutes and yeah give it about 15 20 minutes we'll be sweating now, so many tourists from Australia and elsewhere, as you would well know, one of the things everybody hopes to do is to catch you guys off guard, make you laugh yeah. Or, yeah. Or, or, or change yeah. your expression. Is that actually very difficult when you're standing there to not laugh or, it, or it change can, your expression? It can be. It can be. It, when I was on Tower of London, I had an American family started singing to me and I couldn't help it, but I tried not to smile. But it, when they leave, you're like, you're like, whoa, what are you doing? So you just got, like I say, discipline. Ah! So what's involved in getting ready for the day on the day? Uh, the main thing is probably the boots, getting your boots to the uh, high standard. And then you've got your belt. Obviously, it's nice and white. You don't want any black marks on it. Your brasses, you need to keep them clean. And obviously, fluff yourself down because you don't want to... A big white piece of fluff hanging off here because you just look stupid. How long does it take you on average to get ready? So roughly about two and a half hours if you at night time. At night time, yeah. And then you just spend about half an hour, forty five minutes just touching it up. Two and a half hours? What what is involved for that two and a half hours? Um, like I say, you're pulling polishing your boots, so you're doing them from laying them up and then you're pulling them up to a highly good standard. And for example, doing your belt untake your belt apart, do your brasses and your curb chain, whiten your belt, do your basket and just give it a shake, brush it. Uh, yeah, if it needs to go in a wash, you take it in the shower with you. The hat? Yeah. You take the hat belt. goes in the shower with you? Yeah, yeah, if you want to. And then do you give it a blow dry afterwards? A little uh, shake. A little shake. Yeah. We don't have a blow dry.